second referee, Mr. Loomer Pajarillo. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our cream line, Cool Smashers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number two, Eliza Valdez. At number six, Janet Panaga. Wearing jersey number 12, Julia Melissa de Guzman. Number 13, Celine Eliza Domingo. Number 18, Diana May Carlos. And at number 23, Jessica Margaret Galanza. Starting libero is number 11, Kyla Liana Atienza. And coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. Presenting our signal, HD Spikers. Team captain wear jersey number three, Rachel Ann Dakis. At number two, Rosalind Doria. Wearing jersey number seven, Frances Senia Molina. At number eight, Javelin Gonzaga. Number 18, Marivic Belaine Meneses. And number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Starting libero is number 21, Angela Nunag. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq De Los Santos. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. And here are your starters. Start a new way to watch a PVL via the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. Here we go, big semi-final matchup between the Signal HD Spikers and the Creamline Cool Smashers. This is match number 32 officially of the 2023 Premier Volleyball League Invitational Conference. Interesting um, earlier to see how F2 yeah. lost in three sets against PLDT, and you saw the after effects from a physical standpoint, Neil, um, in that game. Even our colleagues, uh, Jamie La Vittoria and uh, Sir Seb Sarmiento, were talking about it, and it was rather obvious. Now, Neil, I want to ask you about Dreamline. Of course, you've been ng panalo, but that still should take something mm -hmm. out of you, right? And that's correct. You know, when we talk about Signal HD and Dreamline, every time they go up against each other, alam na agad natin that it's offense against defense. And uh, when we talk about the keys to victory, hard serving talaga ang ipapanalo ng Signal HD. And for Dreamline, it's uh, their reception. They really need to get that on point because that, is, that has been uh, the skill set category that has been mm. problematic mm. throughout this invitational conference. Yeah, Kyla Atienza did not have her usual great game in that last game against F2. Able to pop it up though. Chance for Signal to counter-attack. They have one point on the board. Good coverage by Takis. And Signal goes 2-0. When you take a look at the individual um, uh, skill set of each of the players ng Signal and Green Line, I would say evenly matched lang talaga. It will boil down to whoever gets that flow early on here in this opening set. And, and just like the F2 Green Line match, in the crucial moments, hindi kaba yung walang kinakabahan eh. Tama yung summary pa rin, di ba? It was just about who won the point. You know, so we expect that from Signal also because there are a bunch of veterans too. Nobody behind the blockers. So, Creamline gets her first point as we throw it over to Franny Reyes. Earlier, Boom, we were talking about both teams being veteran teams here in the PVL. Now, I got to talk to both of the coaches of these teams about their strategy coming into this match. And they both told me it's about which team is more intact. He told me, or Coach Sherwin Meneses told me that for the Creamline Cool Smashers, it's about focusing on their basic skills. They cannot allow errors against this very tight Signal HD Spiker team. Lahat talaga babantayan. But on the other side for Coach Shaq, it's about maximizing. 
utilizing the strengths that they've been showcasing in their past four games. They know that Dreamline is fast, but it's about which team can execute, go all out without any hesitations. Now let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. And now we go back to Boom and Neil. And by the way, Coach Shat was watching that F2 Dreamline game live throughout the match here at the Field Sports Arena, scouting. Good start here for Signal, 4-1. Shaky passing from the Cold Smashers, which was a problem in that set number one deal against F2, no kinambakan sila. And Jelka Yuna just establishing uh, that fast tempo for their attack formation. Jovelin Gonzaga getting a lot of touches. Seth Molina also getting her points here. Joe got that. Off the off speed from Eliza, but Joe a little wide on the counter attack. Signal is a scary team, I would say. Watching their past few games, they're peaking at the right time. They're they losing are. with confidence. They're helping each other in every single rally. Four game winning streak. The last two, very impressive. The game against Chocomucho, they look really, really sharp. And then the other game against PLDT as Dakis gets it off the block here. Two serving four. Nunag keeps it up. And a rainbow, no, a free ball. You do not want to give Dreamline a free ball, especially when Seth Domingo is there. That connection with Gia de Guzman has been awesome. Sometimes they is a unexpected pa, yung mga bigla ang quick attacks ni Gia de Guzman, but that's how they play even if Seth Domingo gets that first pass. She still approaches for that quick attack, that's why they get dividends from these plays. At ang hirap bantayan talaga, Neil, you know? it's that tempo eh. Taki so with a cross-court answer. Good start here to our match. Five will be serving three. The head-to-head -head for Creamline and Signal here in our PBL is four and two. Creamline with four wins. Signal has had two. That drops out. Signal has been targeting the corners to support the green line, but that one sails outside. Four serving five. Our team from Karashki a blazer right here in the venue too, and enjoying and figuring out this uh, atmosphere here at the Phil Sports Arena as Signal gets another point there off an attack from Joe Gonzaga. You talked about her long ago when this conference started on, on our show, The Game, and you said how important she will be as an addition. Her start was not so good for Signal, but the last few games, it seems like yeah. she's really settled in, Neil. Well, she was already part of the Signal HD Spikers before, Correct, right. so wala naman masyadong adjustment ang kailangan niyang gawin. And the biggest contribution aside for the attacking for Jovelin Gonzaga is her defense. Back set to Jove. Tox is asking for it, she doesn't get it. Eliza does, popped up. Tox is hopping. Oh, she mishit that ball. There was an opportunity, though. No spin on that hit of Rachel Andakis. The ball hit her uh, fingertips. Yeah. Valdez, the player of the game, last time out. Molina receives. Manessas. She is going to be important if Signal wants to be successful today. Uh, this is why I was uh, very excited to cover this game. Uh, the battle between Ria Meneses and Seth Domingo, the misdirection of the setters, yeah. the battle of the wing spikers, even the in the libero position. Ang ganda din ng tapata ni Jack Jonella and Kyla Tienza. Sama mo na pala si Roslyn Doria dyan sa usapan yan sa middle blockers. Rad gets us going. Atienza. Gel. Jovi. Gia. Gemma. 
Galanza has got that face on. Game face on. Gemma Galanza with a mighty swing there, getting past the tall blockers of Signal HD. 20 points the last time out. Averaging 10 in the Invitational. Said Domingo averaging 6.2 here in this Invitational. Good serve for Said Domingo. What that is her third ace of the season. Sorry, Neil. No spin whatsoever in that float serve of Said Domingo. Finding the right target. Last second, Pumabagsa, yung bola. 7 all. Gel to Cess. Cess, coverage by Tots. Live from the back row. Rebound. Cess again! Nakita mo na, Neil. 8 7. Technical timeout. We will be back. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. What a great battle so far in the first set. Opening minutes. Kala Tenza and the rest of the Green Line Boom Smashers behind by one point. Got some great liberos, as Neil mentioned. We have Jack Janela, who's celebrating her 10th year with Signal. As a Signal HD spiker, of course, the addition of Jelai Nunag. And just like M2, signal targeting Eliza Valdez. 9-7 for Riri Menes says that would be only her second ace of the season. That's definitely the game plan of Signal HD to bombard Creamline with a lot of heavy serving because they're very steady when it comes to blocking patterns. So as long as matkamali yung cream line sa unang pasa nila, Man. it's very easy for Doria and Meneses to man the net for the HD spikers. Doria is back in front. Gia. Eight serving nine. Gel. Delayed by the block, counter attack by Cream Line. Dug up. Molina goes long, but it's too long. These teams are just trading points right now, but there will be a challenge called a block touch challenge our for first, the HD Spikers. Our first of the day. Now, I mentioned how Signal and Creamline are 4 and 2 in their head to head. Creamline won in 2021 the Open Conference in three sets in the prelims. They did not meet in 2022 because of the group phase. 2022 Invitational, Signal won in four sets in the prelims. Then Creamline won in three sets in the series. Of course, Creamline won that Invitational. 
And then 2022 reinforced Creamline won in four sets in the prelims, Signal won in four sets in the semis. And then in the All Filipino Conference, Creamline won in three sets. That will be an unsuccessful challenge for Coach Shaq De Los Santos. It was a high ball coming from Ces Molina. But Signal still ahead. Eight will be serving nine. Gia de Guzman, second best. Well, basically, the one and two go to Galanza and de Guzman in terms of serving. Gonzaga. Gia able to see that. Chance to counter here. Gel goes to Molina again, rolls it. A great dive there by Valdez. Oh! Galanza on the counter. That shoot set from Gia de Guzman paved the way for Gemma Galanza to get that powerful kill. Doria was all the way. Oh, what a shoot. It's a middle and last second. Binitawa niya yung block ni Gemma Galanza. That was a mistake on the side of Signal. 9 all, which prompts Coach Shuck to stand up for the first time in this match. 3-0 run here by Cream Line. Sorry, it is 10-9 now. They take over the lead. Doria will go for the swipe, and that's why two straight points. Big that four straight points for a two-point lead. And Creamline continues to target Joe Gonzaga this time on the service. Back to her. Molina. Block, Molina again, checked. Takis from behind, goes for the angle. Gemma. Gel will go for it. 5-0 run by Creamline, and Coach Shaq will call timeout. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, see Rachel Dito. One more for your tayo. Sana yun. Yung nasan ka? Yung nasan ka? Okay, tuloy mo yan. One more for you. Okay, tuloy mo yan. Okay, tuloy mo yan. Okay, tuloy mo yan. Top minus to score. That's the correct recognition uh, from Coach Shaq De Los Santos. Every time Creamline has that chance to counter, binibilisa ni Gia de Guzman right. para malate yung defenders ng Signal HD. So Signal has to slow it down uh, to counter that speed right. of the Cool Smashers because speed has been the name of the game correct. pagdating sa transition. And again, Joe struggling with the first ball. So a chance ball to Creamline who are on a 5-0 run. Make that 6-0. And this is the game now of Creamline. They have settled down and they have sped it up. Because Man now starting to go to Fox Carlos. That's her first point, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. She's been going to the left side a lot. And her natural position in this invitational. Molina, what a dig by Atienza. Doria unable to put it away. Galanza. Cayuna will attack, goes for the long ball. Tots again. Lunag. Bump set to Cess. Bumalek. Ayun na man. Great defense by Signal. Open to Cess. Gia was there for coverage. Long rally alert. Back set to Jones. It goes on. 
the dive, the point goes to P-Line. Zero run, sorry partner. But Carlos changing at tempo this time, going for that soft shot. Miscue on the side of Jelka Yuna and uh, Jovelin Gonzaga. Gia has been serving for quite a while. This was a two-point lead by Signal. Now it's a five-point lead by the defending champions. And that first ball has been an issue. Tots gets it back. That's out. And an attack error gives Signal a point. The tables have turned right now. A while ago, we were seeing Creamline having uh, that struggle in passing that ball to Jay de Guzman. Right now, it's the Signal HD Spikers having a difficult time getting that first ball. Papunta kay Jel Kayuna. Jel will be working with Jove. Doria and Molina as she serves here. Down four. It's out. But it did hit Kaila Atienza and uh, Atienza admits it. Yeah. I thought so in the first look. And sharp eyes by Joy Diemus. Shaq also calling out. Two straight points for Signal. That's in. That's going to drop in. What a serve. They need all of these cheap points, Neil. Get back themselves back, back here. Points yeah. on the service line. And Coach Shaq De Los Santos is very active on the sideline. Directing Jelka Yuna kung saan niya targeting yung mga serves. They have been successful. And now Beam Line will call for time. That drops right at the line. Okay, Galau, Galau. Mag-serve, Galau, agad. Pass lang yung bola. Tama na, tama na. Okay, tama na. So, ready yung spiker lang natin. Kung dalawa block, block lang. Okay lang. Marisig natin na maganda. Isa block, okay lang. Yes, coach. Okay, Galau, 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 Galau. Galau. Okay, green line! 3-0 run. Counter run by Signal off a good serving of... Uh, 2022 Open Conference Best Setter, Jel Kayuna. The first step is very important if you are receiving a hard float serve galing kay Jel Kayuna because the moment you get delayed on that first step, ang bilis bumagsak ng bola. Going long again for that serve. Hit out for Tots Carlos. Signal will not challenge. Fifteen twelve. Gemma Galanza now. Easy pickings there for her thoughts. Lie. Good coverage. Good reaction by Sess. Sess Molina with their second point. Make that third point of the match. She has been checked in the last few rallies, but pag hindi niya nadadaan sa offense, she will get a couple of defensive stops there. She goes back to the service area. Two-point deficit for the HD Spikers on a four-game winning streak. Chance ball. Gel. Job asking for it. That's why she knew it. And they're back in this match deal. Just like that. Pakita ng kapit. After being down by five. Signal still targeting Eliza Valdez. And uh, once they get that chance ball or out of system play guiding sa cream line, they can uh, set up a lot of combination plays. Regalo, Bumalek, Gel, the push from the other side. Gia will go in the middle, set back by Toria. 
punched by Thoughts. Sess from behind. Atanza with a dig, but could have keep it in play. And we are all tied up. That's been the story of this game. The team who serves harder actually gets wow, you're right. the momentum back. 6-1 run. Counter run. As we said, ito mga dalong veteran teams ay magpaiwan. Oh, that's off. She knew it as soon as she hit the ball. 16-15, it is green line still in the lead. Come and watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet, or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. Jalay Nuna. Kapalitan ni... Jack Janela, Tito sa signal, down one. 16 15. Gia will choose the reverse. The thoughts Carlos, who converts on her fourth point. Thoughts Carlos needs to go back to her old scoring ways because in the past few games she has been on and off, but this time around she's starting to heat up. As she gets a lot of sets from Jenny Guzman. Still a 15-point average scorer for Tots. Takis with that hop. 17-15, she generates some power from that body hop that only she can do. Fast swing there from Rachel Andak is right through the seam. Huge gap between Gia de Guzman and uh, Seth Domingo. I don't know of any other open hitter who hops like yeah. her, right? No? It's a very unique, unique. approach. Yes. Thoughts. A lot of power in the swing. Hammering down her fifth point. This time it was Ria Menezes a late for that closeout. She was already on that third right side, tried to catch up on the left pin. She goes back for a jump serve. Nunag with the perfect first ball. Gemma digging it up. And Eliza scoring on the counter. That will definitely help Eliza Valdez. But the thing's a kumbiansa. Time out for Chuck. Okay. Sige. Pasa mo na tayo. Pasa mo na lang. Sige. 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 Sen, ikaw lang. Okay, Sige, go, 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 go. Sige! 19-16. Some separation here 
at the crucial stage, the business end of this first set. Biggest lead, biggest lead for Creamline was five points. Gel bump sets to Jove, who had to ad lib there. Thoughts from behind. Gel, pababawin si Jove, bumalik sa signal. Good pick up there by Thoughts. Valdez checked. Valdez again. Goes long. Taki sends it over. Atienza, regalo. Uh, did the job there for Rachel Andakis. Michelle Olaso, very much involved in this game, our vice president of channels and content head of Signal. Her team down two. I'm trying to chase here as Giselle C. Another FEU standout. Will set. To Basas, Dakis, and Meneses as her front line. And the double sub by Coach Shaq. Good reaction there, but a chance to counter here by the girls in red. Oh! Whoa. That is vintage <laughs> Rachel and Dakis. Rachel and Dakis on a mission here in the semifinals. Perfect set from Giselle C. Ria Meneses very convincing on that approach. All right. Dakis with four points so far. Points by Signal, as I mentioned, the team Kurashki Ablaze. They've been observing not only the players and the game, but the, just the general atmosphere here at the Phil Sports Arena. But, and they've been commenting when you see, uh, sometimes you catch me, Neil, after a play, I'm looking at them, I'm trying to check out their reactions to certain plays. And they're coming up next to finish off our four game set. Chance to counter. Vanessa sends it over on the second ball. This again! Very loose blocking yeah. there. You have to tighten up that blocking pattern if you want to deflect that tax of Eliza Valdez. Yeah, Vanessa had that chance to set it up to Rachel Andakis in that last sequence, but she decided to go for that one-two play, and that gave opportunity to Creamline to go to Eliza. Double sub naman para kay Coach Sherwin. It's Mitch. And Kyle coming in. Kyle was set to Gemma, to Sed, and to Mitch as her full front line. While Valdez go ba goes back to serve. Good reaction by Meneses. Passes on the other side. 2023, Neil, and we're seeing Dakis and Valdez swinging for their teams here. <laughs> Now, uh, these are the crucial moments for the double substitutions of Dreamline and Signal yeah. HD. Basas instantly getting uh, a point on her first attempt. Giselle C doing an excellent job setting the tempo. Very sharp serve by Rad. What a set. What a block by Sess. Good read by Molina to tie the match at 20. Sabi nga natin nila, wala nang kakabahan dito. It's, it's about these players making plays talaga. It's not about like big, big nerves. Chance here for Signal to take back the lead. They open up to Sess. That's a check. Oh, there was a check yeah. ball. According to Joy Dimos. a block touch. And galing na din kay Michelle Gumabao that uh, na. She, gets a, green, she gets a green, green card. card. <laughs> <laughs> Nagaling sa atin na lang. 
21-20, just like that, Neil, from 1916 down. Signal on a 5-1 run. Gemma in the middle. Fooled everybody there. Now Bernadette Pons will be replacing San Domingo. Uh, defensive substitution here. Uh, to serve and to sweep. Twenty-one all. Sharp serve. Good first ball. Molina Inunahana. What a fast set to Cesc Molina, Neil. That was a thing of beauty. Look at the reaction of Giselle C. She goes, woo! <laughs> and Giselle C has been out of the pro scene for quite some Correct, time. I was right. very happy to see her gel well with the Signal HD spikers. And guess what? Again, I think mean, give credit to Coach Shaq. He's really rejuvenated Jel Kayuna and Giselle C. They really find comfort in him. They're very comfortable in the system. Speaking of comfortable, Banaga looking good in that swing. at 22 all as we inch closer to the end of the first set. It's a race to three points for both Signal and Creamline. It will boil down uh, definitely to execution and the setter's decision kung paano nila ng single blocker yung mga wings nila. Right. Oh. Sails out. Jovi and Shell will come back for Coach Shaq. Giselle C. and Chin Basas has done their job. No, Signal has a full front line yeah. there with uh, Jovelin Gonzaga, Cesc Molina, and uh, Rosalind Doria. Doria. And they're serving here. They will be on defense. But on the side of Cream Line, they also have Galanza, Carlos, and Panaga. So it's a three on three affair. It's a great matchup. Good serve. Galanza with a perfect first ball. Dots. Coverage there. Oh, it's a floor touch already. Dots has been great on these up speeds and decoy plays. From that swing alone, you yeah. already know that she would be going for that drop ball. You just expect her to go for it most of the time. 23 all. Nail biter of the first set. Back set to Sess. Nice seeing it, Ba. Just oh. enough force to get it through the block off. Medyo off on the point, Daniel. The late na ponting konti lang si Pax Panaga to close that cross court. Yeah, you're right. But that's the box beauty of. A set like that, ano, that split second na maunahan mo lang, mag-delay lang ng konti yung blocker. Set point. Oh, signal. And they take the first set. What a comeback. Oh, there's a challenge here. Change things for oh, the full smashers, but based on our angle, that looked like a clean attack from a Signal HD. So the fans of Cream Line making some noise here at Phil Sports, hoping that this challenge will be successful. Await the decision. Coach Shaq is staring at the big screen. Nai bawi yung kamay. Na bawi, na hatak yung kamay. And it is official. Signal takes set number one. Cream line cool smashers, just like in their previous game against F2, will have to work from a deficit now. 25 23.
New streaming services and experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Signal HD, Neil, was down by as much as five and then down by as much as three late in that first set and came back to win 25-23. How did they do it? Signal HD just maintained their composure all throughout the first set. Nakita natin there were numerous times that Creamline had majority of the lead. But when push comes to shove, etong signal, kakapi talaga sila sa heavy serve sila. On the side of Creamline, they started out with a shaky pass, but that also ended with a misreceive from their libero. So that will be a main point of concern na kailangan talaga mapulido nila yung category na yun so that they would be able to come out on top in certain sets. Mm. Both had um, moments of greatness attacking the setters, set the tempo for each of their squads, but at the end of it all, it was that gift from Rachel Ann Dakis that ended that first set. And speaking of Dakis, she contributes uh, five points, backing up the eight of Ses Molina. For Creamline, it is Tots Carlos with five, Gemma Galanza with six. 18 attack points for the HD Spikers and uh, three more aces. So that was a story oh, in that wow. first set. But they did commit uh, more errors compared to Creamline. So looking at it at the positive light, mas konte yung unforced errors in terms of numbers. But hindi din kasi maikita dun sa unforced errors yung mga botched passes mm. or yung mga shank passes na nangyari sa set number one. Right. So now Coach Sherwin Vanessa will be fielding in Ella de Jesus to try to get that uh, consistent first Passing, ball. Yeah, the, the, the first ball, uh, which is very important on the cream line attack. They were out attacked. The number one attacking team was out attacked in that first set. So welcome to our second set. Welcome to the Phil Sports Arena and our coverage here on Filipinas Live. Thank you for watching, Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores. Of course, we are joined by Franny Reyes, who is roaming the Phil Sports Arena and getting us uh, some uh, inside stuff. 1-0 for Signal. Atienza there receiving. What a spot. Chance ball and a rainbow easy over. Gia. Combination play! A thing of beauty! That was a perfect set. Perfect timing for Gemma Galanza. <laughs> for Pax Panaga there. Pentang Pentanil, grabe. Panaga selling with an aggressive approach. <laughs> One all. Somebody scraped the net. I think it's Eliza. She admits it right away. Joins us at courtside, Franny. In that first set, we watched Signal come back from a cream line lead, and they were neck and neck to end that. And I actually saw a much more vocal Signal HD Spikers, and that's something that Jovi Gonzaga was telling me about this team. You know, leadership is seen from each and every one of these players. Lahat ng pagod is paying off, and you can tell just how much everyone here wants it. Now, before this set, they were actually very, very locked in. Usually they talk to each other a bit, but I saw each of the different players really focused, thinking about what they'll do in this next set. And we're tied now, but let's see if they'll be able to get that second set after all. So let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to Neil and Boom. Thank you very much, Franny. Ongoing rally to all, as you mentioned. Dakis is rejected as Tots Carlos provides a wall. One and one against Rachel and Dakis. Tots Carlos closing out that space. To get a kill block for Greenlight. Bangs targets Jovi. Gets it back. Gemma. Thoughts flies in. Good defense there by Nunag. And a good that through ball by Rachel Andakis. Hands were impressed above the net. That could have been a solid block for the Colts Smashers.
But that space in between the net and the hands of Tots, allowing that ball to drop, three all. The comebacking yeah, signal HD that. spiker. Tots. Good reaction by Meneses. But it's back with Creamline. Back to Tots. The block was there, but it's out. They have been exchanging swings. <laughs> point after point. Hello, he will go back to serve. Look at this. Yeah, she was there. But smart move by Tots. Target that outer hand. Two points out of the four. Galing sa unforced errors now. Cream line on that service line. Gia de Guzman with one giveaway and Tots Carlos with another. Four all. Set number two. This is semi final match number two of the day. And Nami Migay ng puntas. Pareho kumpulan. Evening session still to come. Kin Batakni and Kurashki ablaze. They're getting ready for their showdown. Lucky serve there from Eliza Valdez. Uh, the reaction says it all. For Eliza Valdez with four points. Seventeen in the last game. This one a better serve. Sess with a swipe. For a touch. And Molina again will score that one. And that will be her ninth point of the match. First player that will probably end up in the double figures. Double figures right. first. Seventeen points also in the last match for Molina, she is averaging 14 in the Invitational. Atienza gives it to Gia, double. Vanessa's was right there. Oh, oh. And it is Shindo that wins the point. Even after a spectacular play, all because of the steady hands of Riri Meneses. <laughs> Let's give half that point to Riri Meneses. Even in the past couple of games, <laughs> Naikita Natin, that she gets her fair share of excellent digs. <laughs> Why not? Good serve. They get a free ball because of it. Sess again. And as Neil said, she gets to double figures first. Another uh, misreceive for the Cool Smashers in that last sequence. 3 0 run by Signal to take over the lead. Chance to set it again. Gemma hooks it to the other side. <laughs> that was a crafty hit from Gemma Galanza. That love shot. Papunta sa zone one. Alan, yung basketball lang may hook, huh? Look at that. Perfect form, too. Coach Reg, in one of the timeouts, said in the last game, and, and in a way, you know, complimenting Gemma by telling her team na bantayan niya si Gemma because she has so much variation in terms of her offense, which is true. But another service error by Creamline gives Signal its eighth point.
back inside the Phil Sports Arena for this exciting matchup between the Signal HD Spikers and the Creamline Cool Smashers. And Signal taking the first set on a comeback win. And now also coming back to take this lead 8-7. to seven. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere, via the Pilipinas Live app. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos a month. You get different kinds of views. There's a main camera, main view, multiple views, and of course our friends handling the fan stream makes it even more exciting for those who want a different experience of the PVL. This time, no fake there for Gia. Went to the middle. Couple of service errors already for Gia today. Let's see how this one goes. It returns. De Jesus on the jump set. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. She might be the game changer for the cool smashers. Ella De Jesus setting up Todd Carlos on that right spin. The elevator elevating for the toss. It's up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Giving uh, Gia a quick respite. 9 8. Jove gets it back, goes cross. De Jesus takes it. Back set to Tots on a fast, fast and low set. That's the preferred set of Tots Carlos. Now she's on a killing spree. <laughs> I love that. 3 0 counter run by Creamline to take the two point lead. Tots Carlos has nine points. They're looking for a touch. There was no spin on that ball. Signal will not challenge. She said she didn't know, yeah, they were asking. Shaq was asking her, she said he didn't know, she didn't know. But they're gonna call a timeout anyway. Okay. Team awesome there, down three after that timeout. But up a set in our semi-final matchup. It's always a pleasure hearing you mga timeouts sa mga coaches na very technical. Technical, yeah. Off the bat, direction agad kung ano yung gagawin nila the next play. Coach Shaq de los Santos instructing Seth Molina that she will be the one to attack so they have to work on their conversion. And hindi lagi mawawala sa mga timeouts yung reminder sa unang pasa. pasa. And I think he also mentioned Seth because I believe Gemma Galanza is her primary blocker. Yes, she is. So they're on the same side. At yun ang apinuntahan, but Valdez was up for it. And Gemma on the counter. Rad from behind. One hand set. It's like the thing, it's like the first set then when Dreamline went on the 6 0 run. Bas Panaga working hard in that middle blocker position. A while ago, she was uh, mainly the decoy, but right now, she's finally getting touches and getting the sets that she also deserves. Third point for her. This is the same scenario that we saw in set number one. Exactly. Dreamline again having a big lead against Signal, so they do have to maintain their momentum if they want to tie things up at one set apiece. 
And the run was when Gia was serving also, by the way. Now that doesn't make it. But Coach Chan, I thought it did not make it over. So they call the double. That's what uh, Joy Dimas is saying, that it just hit the net, it yeah. did not hit the blocker. That's what I saw. Neil, what did you see? I think this was the right call. Uh -huh. Hindi rin talaga inabutan ni Rosalind Doria. Right, tignan natin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a net block. At hindi tumama si Rose. 13-8. The run continues. 6-0 run. Just like the first set. Over received. Oh, oh pero ng gigil. Pangs Panaga asking for a check ball, but too much eagerness on uh, that hit. Her eyes lit up with the gift. Sumobra ng lihis. So they break the rally. Nine serving, 13. Carlos again! What a good pass by Ella de Jesus. She has increased her efficiency in a today's game. That's with 11 points? Yes. The first player for Greenlight to reach that double-digit mark. Chell with one hand. Well, signal proved in the first set. They sila pa, nagpaiwan man sila. They have the ability to come back. They came back from a six-point lead, sorry, five-point lead, and a three-point lead late. You can just feel the persistence of Chell Kayuna, trying to save every ball that she can. Mm. Kahit na tight pass, she will find a way to set it up to the middle. Valdez, dug up. Back set. Who's going to set? To Jovi. What an exchange. Gets the low five from Coach Shaq. She has been targeting that down the line uh, angle, but this time around, she goes for that sharp cross. Good dig by Gel. The set by Doria and the swing by Jovi Gonzaga. Low five from Coach Shaq. Lead down to three. De Jesus receiving again. Shoot to the other side. Dog by Doria. Jovi on the counter. One more. Back set. That's in. And Gia says, my fault. Coach what? Sherwin will call a timeout. A 3-0 counter run. Parang first set lang tayo, Neil. The defending champion's lead is down to two. What did you get from that time, Martin? Yeah. The Cool Smashers have two options right now for their first attack. If they get a perfect pass, they can set up that combination play in the middle. As long as mapasabay ni Pax Panaga, that will open up that zone for Eliza Valdez. But the moment na mabitin yung unang pasa, automatic, they will revert back to their basic play. 12 serving, 14. Oh. She still finds a way to score. She got that timing on point. No. Right in between the blockers. 
And sa ganun kataas na set, it gave uh, Signal so much time Correct. to just set up their blocking pattern. Good second jump by Seth Domingo. 16-12 second technical timeout. the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet, or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. 16-12 is our score. We just saw Neil, uh, our visitors from uh, Vietnam, the uh, King Bak Bak Ne team just settling in just five seconds ago they just sat down earlier the japan team is there as Gemma duck digs up this one another one for riri this one touches the floor already power tip works now double substitution again coming in for coach de los santos they've had good results for this conference in general, pag pinapasok nila si Chin Chin Basas and uh, Giselle C. FEU standouts. We have a lot between these two teams. There are a lot of FEU players. Oh, that's still a good pancake by C. Dot says mine. Eliza Adlibs. Oh! Side hand. Signature move from Eliza Valdez out of system play. As long as Naikita niya yung uh, <laughs> right arm or right forearm, and that's the right side, uh, she will really take advantage of it. So the lead is back to four. Miss <laughs> Racine. Carlos, fifth of the conference. So, just lang tayo. Ah, hindi pa din dahil na makailangan ng pabago ng momentum din. Ah, nakaputos naman tayo, ha? Sige, go, go. Alam yan, kami tayo. lead of this second set. Cream line with a response here after losing set one. It has been a back and forth affair when we talk about the reception efficiency of both of these teams. Cream line holding on to that five point lead. Good. Oh, very good tempo there. So much control in that set from Giselle C. Off a, pa a fast pass, ano? Ambilis din ng takbo niya. That's why that resulted to a quick attack na walang blockers at all. Down four. Yeah. 
Gemma. I go back to Elisa. Changing the direction. Elisa Valdez with her sixth point of the match. Elisa Valdez going high and long. Not intimidated by the triple block set up by Signal. Well, working the angles perfectly. Parang gusto ata niya yung natin challenge siya. Of course. Alam mo na. Dakis with the first ball. And Riri Meneses, fifth point for her, keeping them alive here in set number two. She's been keeping uh, things very simple. She gets her points through these power tips, finding uh, these empty spaces on the side of the Cool Smashers. But Cream Line is poised to take set number two, just six points away from tying things up. See if Gia goes to Gemma here. Now she goes to Seb. They set it up to Sess. Blocked. Good chase by Domingo at the net. Perfect timing of that block. Molina also didn't get the, that uh, explosive Ele approach. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She made use of uh, that vertical jump. Good serve. Chin on the other side. Defense holding up for the cool smashers here in the tail end of set number two. Now Vanny Gander will uh, replace Rachel Andakis. She's had a lot of productive uh, games also yeah. coming off the bench. And Mahikita mo that she really loves the setting style of Chelka Yuna. First ever Atenean to join the Signal HD Spikers. Says faster this time, but Valdez was there. Gemma! Oh, good spot by Chin. Saw the opening. Said Domingo was waiting for a drop ball. The sweeper was behind. So nobody was really there to guard that push from Basas. But the lead is still with green line, and it's still at five. They would love a couple of aces from Gel. Signal. Kung sino yung babantayan nila eh. Pegas one back at the service area with a six point cushion. Picked up by Gia. Galanza. An avalanche of points now from Green Line. Now you see that snowball effect on the side of Green Line from having that consistent passing to setting up uh, their defensive measures against the attackers of the HD Spikers. Seven point lead. Good anticipation again by the net defense. Vanny from behind, and Gia easily takes that. And they convert on the transition play. Another perfect set coming from Ella de Jesus. <laughs> and a while ago, they were talking to each other, sabi ni Tots Carlos, wag mo lang masyadong itataas. And she adjusted accordingly. Now, Creamline is at set point. Set point. Eight of them. Candler receives. Tom Coso just came in. 
Dances again. Not that time. Don't cross the tries. Galanza finds a way. Chell punches. Gia. Oh. No chance. Up. This is the BBL on Philippines Live. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. 25, 23 for the Signal HD Spikers. And they come back, talking about Creamline, coming back strong in the second set with a 25-16 win. And Tots Carlos coming alive with 10 over 15 points. There in that second set, and she now hits her average. Her average is at 15 here in the Invitational. And we're only in the second set, Neil. It took a while, but Dreamline finally made uh, their adjustments on that first pass. And Adesu is doing uh, a pretty good job in manning the floor for the Cool Smashers. And uh, when we talk about blocking, in set yan may isip natin is yung team ng Signal HD. But in set number two, Creamline definitely outblocked out them. They had a lot of good rebounds. They were able to slow down the attacks of the HD Spikers. That's why they were able to come up with uh, four blocks. That's, a, that's an impressive wow. stat line yeah, right. for the Cool Smashers. And they also got more attacks and the aces. So nakabawi dun sa attack. Remember in the first set they were out attacked by four points. A signal HD spikers, the second best blocking team in the league. Zero. Creamline is middle of the road when it comes to those numbers. So yeah. Can then ng bawe na creamline. So as expected, we are in a dead heat between these two teams. One one. It will be Rad back in the starting lineup as Coach Shaq goes back to his starting lineup. Gonzaga, Molina, Doria, Janela, and Jel Cayuna. No changes also on the side of Greenline except for extensive court time for Ella De Jesus yeah. now. She has been playing well since she was set in for Kyla Tienza. As I say that, just receiving that first ball. Chance ball given to Signal here. Gel chases. Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, yeah. Joby hits the net. Cyan goal for Signal. They had uh, that three ball coming to them, yeah. pero they weren't able to get a perfect pass 
Pakunta kay Jel Cayuna. Now Jel had to chase. He couldn't get the ball up properly. Pumps head to Sess. Sess goes over the blockers. Dots explodes again. Huge opening there. Lunaguas are ready to pick it up. Heavy hands. 16 points for Tots Carlos. Too low. Jove, gel reverses to Cess. It blocking again. And digging. Defense to offense, Neil. And a hot start by Dreamline here as we throw it over and toss it to Freddy Reyes. Earlier, Neil, you mentioned that Dreamline Cool Smashers outblocked the single HD spikers, and I got the talk. The one of those middle blockers said Domingo, and she told me about the adjustments or the things that they need to keep in mind after the last game. She told me that it's very important that they bow it agad after a missed point or an error. Hindi, hindi sila titigil until the set or the game ends. It's about having that co consistency and that momentum so that they can keep playing at their best. Now, I also asked her what it's like going up against a Riri Meneses or a Rosalyn Doria, and she told me that she tries not to think about going up against middle blockers who might be taller than she is. It's about focusing on her game. If she allows herself to think about things out of her control, then she won't be able to contribute to the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Now, let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Per month. Back to you, Boom and Neil. She is the third best blocker behind Sherry Nuna. Jai Atienza here in the Invitational. That was Tots Carlos 17th yeah. point of this match. Two points over her average already. Four one. Another block. What has to change, Neil? If this is the pattern that we're seeing now, that's it. Not to check na sila sa net. Well, the fact na ang daming na register ng kill blocks ng cream line against Signal HA, it, it just means that they're able to predict the strategy of Jel Cayuna. So for Jel Cayuna, she has to su shuffle things up, maybe uh, have some combination plays in the middle. Ito na. But they still able to send it over. Another one in the middle. The chase by Cream Line to keep it alive. And it is alive. Joe goes to Jovi Nabitin. And now a chance to counter. And Bogus puts it away. On an incredible defensive effort by Cream Line. From a net defense now to that floor defense. Cream Line just really steady and ang ginagawa nila pinabalik nila ng pinabalik yung bola sa signal until they find that opportunity to strike so Let's for try. signal you have to be persistent as well and uh, put that coverage behind your attackers because it has also been missing yung suporta sa likod 6-1 start here in the third Sess from behind Turned. Sess will try again. Gio is there for the pickup. Unbelievable counter attacking prowess by Greenway right now. They are on a roll. Walang lumalapag na bola on the side of the Cool Smashers. Well, we know them to be the best attacking team, but they're showing. Their defense, their instincts, their reflexes, their ability to keep it up. Easy pickings for Gia. 
This time they're going to call that one. Coach Sherwin talking to Lumer Pajarillo, our second referee. The call was for signal here. Wait, Lumer is going to chat with Joy Deimus. Coach Sherwin unhappy with that decision of the first referee. They were saying that uh, uh, the man that was a valid and playable um, ball. So yeah. it will be a left. Yeah. That's the correct call. So that point will be replayed. Uh, Creamline still on top by six points. Creamline already has 37 excellent digs and uh, 15 excellent receptions compared to the 27 digs and nine receptions of the HD Spikers. Doc is over the blockers. G has been digging so well. And Thoughts has been varying her attacks. Tip balls, up speeds, full swings, a full arsenal for Kaloy today with 19 points for Dreamline. We're back inside the Phil Sports Arena. Game day continues here. Day number nine, semifinal match number two of the day, which is officially the 32nd match of your Premier Volleyball League Invitational Conference here on Pilipinas Live. That is attorney Rowena Guanzon, the former commissioner, the Philippine Commission on Elections. And right behind her is, of course, the Kin Pakmakni. Team from Vietnam who will play the team from Japan, Gurashki Ablaze, later on in our fourth game. Coach Shak De La Santos was clearly upset oh, in that very, technical yeah. timeout. The Signal HD spikers uh, were very tentative in the last few rallies that we saw. Nagintay lang sila na magkamale itong uh, cool smashers. Which is not happening right now. That's still in! Eliza Valdez with a sharp cross. I, I said it in the last game, Neil. I think we are or seeing the last couple of games where her spring is back and her hesitation mm -hmm. is gone already. She's just going for it now and total 100% confidence in the knee already. We're in the semifinals. We know that she thrives right. in uh, big games, in pressure packed situations. And that was a perfect example of how she really plays your game nila against yeah. the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. And Neil made the point that uh, the last three games for Eliza Valdez were all uh, double digits. For her, 11, 12, and 17, and right now she is on the verge with nine. She's averaging 13.3 in her last games, only 3.5 in her first two games where she was still trying to settle in and test her knee. Unforced error for Signal. That's painful. Giveaway, the 10th point to Creamline. Another chase by Cayuna, and another chance to counter for Creamline. 
Whips S from behind. Munag. And a chance ball for Creamline. Gia will choose Gemma. Off speed by Kayuna. Touch. Oh, too low. Yeah, that was just too low for Touch. Was Carlos. the set low also, Neil? Contact point was low. The set was a little bit low. Okay. Pangiti na lang si birthday boy, Coach Sherwin Meneses, who celebrated his birthday with a win a couple of nights before. Four. Serving ten. Gemma Nagreceive, umatake. That is sent back. Actually, was that a net ball or are they contesting this one as a block touch? It's going to be a block touch challenge. Okay. Said Domingo said that the Amines has got a hand of that ball before it went outside. Usually, nagiging successful yung yes. mga block cut. Yes. Kahit na tumatama majority of the ball dun sa tape sa ng net. net. Yeah. Pero, without the challenge system back in the day, usually, if you know yeah. na yan, they just give the point. But now, because of the challenge, ang dami natin nakikita na isa ni kung tawagin natin, kabuho. Tumatama or nag-landing sa line. So, we'll see here if there was even little bit of a touch from any of the signal HD spikers at the net. I think we're ready to find out. From that angle, it doesn't look yeah. like, it looks like it just crawled off the net. That will be an unsuccessful challenge for Greenline. Worth the challenge, though. They're going to call a timeout. Sherwin. As this lead is down to five. We'll translate that for us. Well, uh, when Creamline gets a perfect pass, as in the Sabi culture, we're lagging a full shot in the middle blockers, the HD spiker. So that's a perfect opportunity for them to that combination play sa gitna. Mm. And they love going to that. Uh, play from the middle, right. but it's still up to Gia de Guzman if she's going to give that to Set Domingo or set it up for Gemma Galanza. Gel opens up to Cess, goes down the line. Three straight points here. You know, when you, you look at, I was looking, I'm all constantly looking at the Japanese team earlier. A lot of them were smiling and and laughing even, seeing how festive it is, and watching the teams. The Vietnamese team look very, very serious. <laughs> like they're taking notes mentally and scouting. There is no laughing for Team Kim Bak Bak Until now, I'm looking at them and they're just serious. This is serious business to them. I'm, I cannot wait to see them play today. We're looking out for that game, our fourth game. In the meantime, drought broken by Cream Line. They take the point. Gel was shooted. Was there a touch there? I thought there wasn't. I don't think so, but they but will challenge. challenge. hit. It was a no look down the line mm -hmm. hit from uh, Ses Molina. So we'll see. If not, said will continue to serve, and this lead will be six in case it is an unsuccessful challenge. Oh, that's 
a good challenge. Four finger. Right at the nail. Hindi ka po. Kamu po. An answered prayer for Coach Shaq there. That's why you got a challenge if you have to check if there's a chance. Even if it looks so obvious in real time. Good serve by Riri. That's out. It's good pass though by Ella De Jesus on the dig. Riri Meneses forcing that out of system play for the Cool Smashers. Now they're just trailing by three points. Biggest lead was seven in this third set. It's down to three. Make that two. They saw this one this time, Neil. Locking finally holding up. Jel Cayuna was not deceived yes. with that set from Gia de Guzman. Sinapayan niya talaga si Gemma. We are in the middle. of a 7-1 run from a uh, seven-point deficit. Now it's just a one-point ball game. Manessas with her third ace of the season, two today. S third ace of the conference, I should say. Lead is down to one. Yes, again, returned. I like that play. Jail going to Rose Doria. We are all tied up. Nice change there by Jail Cayuna. That was a good placement also of the set. Medyo tumba yung set para maiwasan yung middle blocker ng green line. Now the double sub will come in by Coach Sherwin Meneses. It's Kyle Negrito and Michelle Bumaba once again. 8-1 run. Kumapet, itong team awesome. Vanessa's fully focused on the serve. Mitch, that's in. This instant impact. It's been a reputation already for Mitch Kumabo. When she's not the starter in the absence of Eliza Valdez, She's always had an impact off the bench for Greenland. And that's their job to get one point right. off that double substitution. Correct. Then Gia comes back because she will serve and serves well. And Gia is one of the best servers here in the league. Right. And her and Gemma Galanza are one and two, or two and one. Combination. Ooh, Molina with some extra juice on that swing. That's money from Jel Cayuna. Pax Panaga not being able to take a side step to the left. Yeah, you're right. Clean angle there for Cesc Molina. 14 points for Cesc. The only player in double figures for Signal HD. Oof. That's gonna sail out. We're on even terms now. And Gemma actually with a one point lead, cream line 13 12. Desus picks up that one. Thoughts. Another touch of the net, Chinchin Basas called for this one. Caught by Lumer Pajarillo. Sharp eyes there from our second referee. Oh, Ooh, on her way down. Second, yeah. That right hand uh, grazed the uh, name of the net. Good serve. Said number one and number two. 15-12. A counter run here by Creamline. 3-0. Pasa Sumiga. Touch. Oh, what no. 
Gulag with a dig. You're right, Neil, one hand. Paandras na si Jedi. We gotta see that again. And Derek Alneri will indulge us with this replay. Excellent ball control using that one hand. Seth Molina. Oh, just a great spot. Finish that play for Signal. Fanny Gambler is back in front here for Signal. We're down to 13 serving 15. Valdez! Finally enters double digits for the fourth game in a row. 16-13 cream line. Watching the PVL 2023 semi-final action on Pilipinas Live. Ella De Jesus, as you mentioned, you said she might be the game changer in terms of the impact. And Shanae nagpatuloy na naglalaro Neil para dito sa cream line since you said that. Doing a steady job on uh, reception, even the setting. Pag si Gia de Guzman ang unang kum kumuha. She's right, able to right. deliver these uh, sets papunta sa spikers ng Cool Smashers. Easy to forget that she was once an open hitter. Sixteen, thirteen. Bernadette Bonds is back in to serve. Bonds and, of course, CC and Jovi all representing us. National team, beach volleyball, been really busy the last three years on the sand. Valdez on Gonzaga and a timeout by Coach Shaq. Jovelin Gonzaga has been trying to get past the blockers of the Cool Smashers. It's a very quiet day for Jovelin Gonzaga, only with six points. There's only one player in double digits for the Signal HD Spikers. Ses Molina. It's Ses Molina. Alan Acero is the one you saw earlier from the Uribisco side of things. 17 serving 13. Nunag with the first ball. Pinabawe. Nigel Sinjovi. Point number seven for Gonzaga. 14 will be serving 17. They want to make another run here to try to come back. Vanny, Riri, and Jovi in front for signal. Gia. Chance here. Back to Gandler. Gandler is wide on that one. She was dead set in hitting uh, that uh, line ball. I was thinking of challenging, the coaching staff was, but... Kochak waved it off. 
18-14. Back to a four-point lead. No whistle yet from Joy Diemus. <laughs> but Carlos, a little bit excited to <laughs> get this rally going. Yung talaga paglabang eh. Gel, one hand. Sent back by Riri. And a chance to counter. By Eliza Valdez. That was a mistake by Riri Meneses. To just send it over like that. It's always risky when you're up against Green Line to just send over a pit ball. Second time out of Coach Shaq here. Coach Shaq stressing out na Chaka lang ang kailangan ng HD Spikers because there's that fact that they were able to erase a seven point lead earlier so they can do that again. It's just that five points, although it's a heavy amount to come back from, especially Cream Line is now one point away from that 20 point mark. And uh, Signal can't exchange points with the Cool Smashers. Lunag will set it up. Jovi sent back. Gandler will get this one. Sent back again. Sabilanaman. Wow, the blockers of Greenline were working left to right to left to right. <laughs> and finally, Gonzaga gets the advantage. Jelke, you're not making a set Domingo work yeah. in that last rally. But. You can also see the lateral movement of Seth Domingo. Na ang bilis niya mag-transition yes. papunta sa left side and sa right side. It's just that. That was just a really sharp angle from uh, Jovelin Gonzaga. That was the zone of the diggers already. No chance there. We've seen that for a decade already. That's their favorite play. It for is. sure. It is. A play that has produced Eight championships, two in the collegiate ranks, six here in the PVL. Fourteen points. That is over her average already in the last three games. Where she has entered double digits. Six point lead. Cream line looking to step on that gas pedal. Takis. Counter. Good anticipation by Rad. And that point for Rachel and Dakis coming off the bench. Now, Signal needs a leader, and uh, she fits that role perfectly. She's very vocal. Yeah. And every time she gets a point, iba din yung celebration. Nakakahawa yun for the HD Spikers. A lot of these girls look up to her in the team for those reasons. Gotta take advantage of that if you're Riri. Consecutive points. Led by Rachel Andakis, forcing that misreceive for Cream Line. Easy pickings for Nunag. Molina on the counter, slide by De Jesus. Touch from behind. Molina high up, using the net. <laughs> 11 points for the Laguna native. Another fast reset from J. 
Gia de Guzman, Riri Meneses. What's going on for that block against Seth Domingo? Yeah. Seth really sold it so well, which opened up the gateway for Gemma. Five point lead. Set three. That's the average for Seb, six points. Tough first ball. Transition play. Back set. There was a check ball. There was. 18 22. Signal still in this set. Now they will have Ses Molina back in the front line. That's over! Too much adrenaline on that serve! Not a good time to commit a mistake on the service line. Now you send the, you will send Gia de Guzman there to serve. Set point, six of them for green line. That's back to back on fourth errors for the HD Spikers. One off that line and uh, one off that pass. Twenty-four eighteen for a two sets to one lead. Molina says not yet. Molina almost at that twenty point mark, but somebody needs to support her. Get that to get that that point for the HD spikers. Seventeen points. Nobody taking the second ball. Two set points saved by Signal. Molina will ad lib. Jesus has been solid. As solid as that block. Three set point save. We were missing the blocking of the HD Spikers in set number two, but come the crucial time, they get a kill block against the top scorer of the Cool Smashers. Okay, open. Open. That elusive one point to finish off signal here in the third is what Cream Line is looking for. 24 18 was the score when Cream Line got to set point. Remember the chase that F2 made yes, uh, the other day in that set number four? Cream Line also made a chase of their own in set number three. That oh. one will be out! And that's why you call a timeout sometimes. You ice the server. The server sends it out. And green line ahead. Two sets to one.
New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. 2523 for Signal HD, 2516 and 2521 for the Creamline Cool Smashers. And as we know, Neil, when Creamline is ahead, they're even a tougher team to catch up to. Not impossible, of course, for Signal, but they're just good front runners, as they say in sports. But no set uh, or no game is won in two sets, but right now, Creamline is rolling. And tell me about that third set. Well, in set number one, you have to remember that uh, the main weapon of the HD Spikers were their heavy serving. But they negate it in set number three. They committed a lot of mistakes on that line. And even the last point was a service error from uh, Jen Cayuna. And she's one of the steadiest servers on the floor for the HD Spikers. They were there in the attacking department. Uh, they even edged out Creamline in uh, the blocking department. But they had uh, seven unforced errors that had to change for the HD Spikers. And they can't start out slow for cream line they have to continue what they're doing sometimes etong cool smashers they have that tendency to relax a bit once they establish a good enough of a lead but uh, nalilingat lang sila na habol na agad sila ng HD spiker so they have to um, uh, get that final nail in the coffin and end this in a straight sense if they want to rest up early in preparation of their succeeding matches because they will be going up against uh, our foreign guest teams right. as well so we know that it's going to be a high level of competition from right, here who, on out who have been watching them and you know, they always say Creamline is the most scouted team in the PVL. You can watch videos of them anytime, anywhere. That's also the tougher part about our foreign counterparts here. It's not much, there's not a lot that you can uh, find, but we will see them today go up against each other, which is an advantage for the Philippine yeah. teams. In the meantime, set number four is underway. Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores, Franny Reyes, as part of our coverage team here for our fourth game of the day and our third semi-final matchup. And Almeri is at the helm of this live and exclusive coverage on Filipinas Live. It's challenge right challenge. away. Challenge from, touch. from block touch. Oh, a net touch rather. The players of Signal were signaling uh, na kumuha sila ng ball-in, ball-out challenge by coaching staff. Deciding to go with a different direction there, pulling up that net ball challenge on one of the blockers of the Cool Smashers. So we'll see. Signal needing all the points that they can get. Four-two head-to-head between Signal and Creamline, as uh, we mentioned. Also, uh, what we failed to mention also with the changeover is the effect of the uh, De La, uh, Ella De Jesus uh, substitution by Coach Sherwin Meneses has really improved the receiving and digging of this Creamline team after set number one. No touch there. Yeah. Quite far, actually, for Tots Carlos. So the point goes to the Cool Smashers. Unsuccessful challenge there for the Signal HD Spikers. So they only have one left for this set. Misreceived again. Service lines, CJ de Guzman or Gemma Galanza yeah. at the time, they're able to score consecutive points. That's why they're the top two servers for this conference. Speaking of Gia, we've had five conferences already as a pro league. Neil, three of uh, those, Gia has been the best setter. Three of the five pro conferences for the Premier Volleyball League. She won best setter in 2021, the Open.
2022 reinforced and the 2023 all Filipino yeah, conference. The other girl, Jel Cayuna, was the winner in the 2022 open conference. As Carlos goes beyond the antenna oh, for no. an automatic point for signal. Let's check in with Franny Reyes. We've seen errors plague the signal HD spikers. I talked to Ces Molina earlier. She's been trying to do it all for the HD spikers. And she told me that it's very important that they have mental fortitude. That's actually something that they always talk about each conference. They know they have the skills. They know what their team is capable of. But when their, men when their mental strength is off, they're not able to execute properly and they're making those errors that they otherwise would not make. Now, Cesc told me it's very important that they play as one. This is a crucial game and there is pressure, but if there wasn't any pressure, then they wouldn't have a good match. Now, let's go back to enjoying this game, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Back to Boom and Neil. Thank you very much. Couple of great plays while Franny was reporting. I'm sure you guys got to see that. One from Gemma Galanza, the other from Cesc Molina, which brings us to three and three here in set four. Good serve. Sent back Valdez, sorry. De Jesus was there for coverage. Jesus was there again. Free ball. Gel goes to the middle. Doria unable to put it away. Panaga checked at the net. Dots twists. Another one back set. The reverse. And Gonzaga with that off speed. Last second, Jovelin Gonzaga pulling back on the power. She saw Jerry Guzman in position to pick up that dig. Hininaan lang ng konte and uh, Jerry Guzman wasn't able to take a step forward yeah, for that dig. Stuck in the quicksand already. Yung paa ni Gia. 4 3. Another sharp serve. Eliza gets it back. That time it's out. Miss hit, miss set. We're gonna call a timeout here. Talking about Coach Sherwin Meneses. Signal with the lead. Here at the Phil Sports Arena, third game of our quadruple header, second game of our semifinals. Another great crowd for another great match. Great time out. Timeouts can be so tricky yeah. for the server. <laughs> sometimes you forget when you're the server in Odin, sometimes you forget that they do that, you know, to halt momentum and to also freeze you. And you nonchalantly just go back to the service area and all of a sudden you commit an error. 5-4 is the score. Rachel hangs and it drops in. Right on the line, Rachel Antak is targeting uh, the backcourt of the defense of the cool smashers. But she still had a good target anyway. And she saw Set Domingo go up for that block. So it was a really smart move for Rachel Andakis to play it long. Good enough for a two-point lead, 6-4. for support for Molina. Now is the time to get those uh, defensive stops 
if you're uh, Signal HD, you have a three-point lead against the Cool Smashers. You can take care of it once you get these soft touches. And now they will also have a chance to attack again. They're on a 5-1 run, Neil. Back to Ayala. Valdez, rather. Valdez naman, inangulan. You knew she was going to go for it. You knew she was going to go with a sharp cross because the batay ni Jovi nandun twice. She's so crafty. Just such experience also, Neil. Who doesn't panic. She knows what to do. That was what, the third jump already. Lead is down to two. Good first ball. Solid Nuna pass. Coach Sherwin calls time. Phil Sports Arena is our venue all the way till the finals, which will be what, seven days already. So quick, our quick BVL Invitational running through the month of July. And now we will see our foreign guest teams, Kim Bakbak Kim Bak -Bak and Krashki Ablaze. for the first time. In the meantime, we talked about this matchup at our pregame, and they are delivering for their fans. 15 points for Eliza Valdez, 19 points for Cesc Molina. Fourth double-digit figure for Eliza Valdez in six games. Make that 15 points for Eliza Valdez. It's go time for the feed -off. Six serving eight. This uh, invitational conference has brought back the scoring Eliza Valdez. Not just the role player. Cayuna loses her shoe. Oh, and they're going to call a left. <laughs> Joy Diemo stops the play. <laughs> that was definitely unintentional from <laughs> Jelke Yuna. Sometimes it happens. Everybody getting a laugh for both teams. A light moment between <laughs> the two teams. <laughs> <laughs> nice technique, Jel. <laughs> nice ploy. <laughs> Just kidding. Six serving eight. Manessis gets to double figures. 11 points for her. Now there are three players in double digits for the Signal HD Spikers. Ganundin, them, yeah. Sa cream line, you have Valdez, Carlos, and Galanza, the trifecta of the Cool Smashers, also in double digits. The two queens, the two captains, Dakis and Valdez, very productive today. Great pass again by De Jesus. Nobody home for Thoughts Carlos. What happened there, Neil? She's the, actually the most consistent player that uh, gets uh, these D-balls to go. Talking about Thoughts Carlos. 
There are a lot of players that can pull off uh, that kind of an attack. But when you talk about consistency, Pots Carlos is immediately up that uh, list. Wala talagang kasabay, eh, no? Nobody in front of her. Domingo digging it up. Galanza goes over the blockers. Cayuna back to Riri. Back to Signal. Back to Jove. Gia will set it up to Gemma. Off the rebound. Gel goes to Sess. Off the rebound. Gia opens up to Gemma. And Gemma puts it away. Gemma Galanza again. Successful in powering through the defense of Signal HD. 13 points for the gem. That full swing. That form. Eight serving nine. Bump set to the other side. Gia sets it up to Galanza. Cayuno is there to deny. Galanza will change it up. Another bump set to Sess. Set up to Gemma. You know what a paran. Oh. oh! And Jovi is beside herself in apology to her teammate. Because they were there, Neil. Nunak was in position yeah. to pick that ball up, but Jovelin Gonzaga got in the way. That will force the hand of coach Shaq de los Santos to push that button and talk things over. That was practically a chance ball. Kinat shot na lang, no para madali, sa signal. Oh. Inaganon na lang nila, kailangan nakaredy lang tayo sa first ball. Okay, saka nagche-check ka. Hmm. Sige lang, sige lang. Jen, tagayin mo lang. Okay, pala. Kailangan mo tayo. Set mo, oh, man. Okay. Okay. Where we were asking at pregame, Neil, whether that fifth set adventure that Creamline had against F2 will affect them. We don't see it much, right? Not yet, at least. Yeah. Now we're tied at 9-all. Somebody has to create that separation. Team line can go all the way to back this four-setter, or Signal can actually extend this to the decider. Vanessa adds on to her output now at 12. Remember, she's averaging 7.1. A game this invitation also she's almost doubled it up. Itong fourth set mas maganda din yung ball distribution uh, ni Jel Cayuna identifying the timing kung kailan siya magbibigay mm. ng set sa middle blockers. Now this will be a chance ball for Signal. Worse or actually better it's a free point for Signal. Worse for Greenline. Level 9. Signal recovering two straight points after that timeout for Coach Shaq. Good serve. Cayuna! And a touch by Panaga. Three straight points by Signal. The lead is back to the HD Spikers. Trying to force a fifth. We've had eight five-setters so far in this short tournament, Neil. Last one was the one that involved Creamline last Thursday. And a solo block by Cayuna on Galanza forces the hand of both Sherwin Menezes. She knows the favorite angle of Jamma Galanza. Not getting pulled again. That's a quick attack ng cream line.
Green line down four here in set four, but up two sets to one. Earlier today, F2 losing to PLDT in straight sets. Also in our classification match, Chocomucho ending their season as the seventh ranked team as they beat the Cherry Tigo crossovers in straight sets also. Chance to attack again. Nobody behind Rad. Good decision for the Guzman to go to Panaka this time around. If you check the scoring output, Karamihan talaga nanggagaling sa wings ng green line. But sometimes when they get checked, walang uh, follow up. So kailangan mapaisip ulit yung middle blockers ng signal kung sinong babantayan. Gia serving always gives him the chance to come back. This is when they either come back or establish a big lead on signal in previous sets when Gia de Guzman is serving. That is her third yeah. ace for today. Third ace and uh, third point of this match. Latest tally was uh, 25 excellent sets with three points. Chance to counter. Thoughts again. No oh, Dominic. Gemma this time. That's a touch. <laughs> Said when Gia is serving, they're either establishing a bigger lead or they're trimming a gap, bridging a gap, and that's what they're doing right now. The heavy serve of Gia de Guzman making a difference. Three aces today, 11 in this invitational so far. There it is again. Oh, what an angle though by Sess. Great stop to that de Guzman uh, serve. Very crafty attack, the 20th point of Cesc Molina, a girl who averages 14.1 in the Invitational. That's the sense of urgency we want to see on the side of Signal HD. Pag nasa service line, si Gemma Galanza or si Gia de Guzman, they mm. really have to get the next rally. Wow. So much power behind that one. Still able to squeeze it through the Carlos and Gemma Galanza on opposite sides of the court. <laughs> Nasa harapan, both heavy-handed attackers for the cool smashers. Now Eliza Valdez is back in front. Let's see if Signal can uh, defend well and put a stop to Gemma Galanza's serve immediately. Uy, may pagkakataon pa pumalo dito ang Signal. But an easy over. Thoughts on the opposite side. Nunag with the one hand. Sess. Big block for the Cool Smashers, Pax Panaga, and Eliza Valdez limiting the space of Cesc Molina there. Medyo makapal yung palo ni Cesc Molina. It was straight to the hands of Eliza Valdez. Second block for today for Valdez. 17 points. That was her output against F2. And here comes those heavy serves again from Galanza this time. Valdez. Good pick up by Cayuda. Over. Gonzaga. Tight pass coming uh, from uh, De Jesus. Beamline asking for an overreaching violation, but that ball was already so. heading yeah. to the side of the HD Spikers. Yeah. Joy Diemos gives the point. And Signal escapes those barrages from Gia de Guzman and Gemma Galanza serving. Oh. And they get to the technical timeout for 16 14.
facing each other. Stay with us. Here inside uh, the Phil Sports Arena in the heart of Pasig City for your continuing coverage of the 2023 BBL Invitational Conference. You're witnessing the third game of our quadruple header, the Cream Knight Pool Smashers against the Signal HD Spikers. Signal HD controlling the service line at this point. Getting uh, some help from the tape of the net in that uh, last rally. After this game, uh, we will be joined by our foreign guest teams Kin Bak Bak Nin uh, from Vietnam will go up against the uh, Kurashiki Ablaze from Japan for the last game of our quadruple header. Ses Molina back on deck to serve uh, for the HD Spikers. That's a good serve from uh, Molina. Gia de Guzman will choose Tots Carlos from the right side. Rachel Andakis will go for that soft touch, but Max Panaga there for the cover-up. One-point ball game here in the fourth set. Serving 16. Valdez on the ad lib. Jovi rejected. Counter. Takis. Valdez freebie. Cayuna. Oh, oh, a rare error by Joe Cayuna on the contact. Said wanted to go to the opposite side. But sometimes when you get too sweaty, nagiging slippery talaga yung bola. And unfortunately, it is hot and very warm today here at the Phil Sports Arena. And that contributes to it. Coverage by Fangs. Thoughts denied. Yeah. Uh, was double contact a too. Double contact violation. Of Baba na ng ni San Domingo. Signal surviving. Couple of scrambled plays. So 17 serving 16. Signal maintaining a lead. Gia over. And Dakis knows what to do. That's unusual, 11 points. Unusual tight set there from uh, Gia de Guzman. Wow, our, our best yeah. setters. <laughs> Both <laughs> setters committing uh, one mistake here yeah. in the latter part of the fourth set. Very rare errors from the very good setters that we have. 18-16. Dots gets it back. Pounds the pavement. Sub will come in for the cool smashers. That's the thing with Tots Carlos. Hindi mo alam ko nang stronger angle niya because the cross court, the counter line hit, pareho lang malakas, even the sharp cross. That's the reason why she's a three time MVP already. <laughs> 17 18. We're going down the wire here at the business end of our fourth set of this match between Signal and Creamline. Giveaway. De Jesus will set to Mitch. Gel will open up to Rad. Right behind. 
double sub on the other end. That's great touch by Rad on MG. Double sub for Coach Shaq brings in Giselle C and Chin Chin Basas. 19 serving 17. Ah, oh, that's another missed play by Creamline to give the three point separation for Signal. That's uh, Reese Malonzo, the daughter of our technical head here in the PVL, and it's her birthday. Oh, happy, yeah, happy birthday, birthday. Reese. Kyle. Eliza in the middle. This is, uh, these are the clutch moments we were talking about. Dreamline is now down by two points. Eliza Valdez making sure that she got that point before she went uh, to the service line. The loose ball here. Giveaway by Chin. Gemma takes advantage. As we said, you cannot give loose balls to Greenline. Solid contact point for Gemma Galanza. A so much block, power yeah. again. You can just hear the power. It's still a one point lead for the Signal HD Spikers. Two straight points for cream line to put some pressure on the team that has a four game winning streak while of course cream line on the six game yeah. winning streak two hottest teams in the league battling here in the semifinals baldo Nunag with a good pass. De Jesus with a dig. Galanza again. Oh. And we're all tied up. She's got the face on right now. Eliza Valdez has got the focused face. Gemma Galanza has got this intense face going on right now. It has been an all-around performance for Gemma Galanza. Her efforts from that service line. Her defensive prowess as well, and now we're being treated to a series of powerful hits. Great attack by Rad, kept alive by Negrito. She back to Rad. What a response by the veteran from Signal. An emphatic kill from Rachel Andak. He's not giving up. And she has been one of the steady servers today for the HD Spikers. Yung remote control serve nga na tinatawo sa kanya. That floater has been uh, an asset for the HD Spikers. 13 points for Rad, by the way. They will continue. Plays continue. Sess. Players stop playing for about two seconds. Valdez is talking to Joy Leimus. Rieger Menezes talking to Sherwin Menezes saying, no, it's a legal hit, she says. Again, rule of thumb, habang wala pang pita yung referee, you cannot stop. Yeah. And uh, for a moment there, Signal actually stopped. Both no, of them actually. Both oh. of them, no blockers were set up for the HD Spikers. Good thing that Rachel Andakis was uh, manning the back court. Right, you're right. Mitch, with some heat. I'm looking at Eliza right now and how she's talking to her teammates. 
and we don't get this on camera, but we see it live. And the way she's shouting at yeah. them right now, There's, she does not want to yeah. lose, Neil. There's that commanding presence. Pag kinausap ka na, yep. <laughs> isang alay sa Valdez. Good serve from Pons. Chess! Molina, though, has been huge. 23 points for Cesc Molina. Cesc Molina carrying the offensive load for the HD Spikers. Getting past the double block of Creamline. And it was a good rebound from the Cool Smashers. But Bernadette Pons was one step too late for that pickup. Coach Shaq takes out Meneses for the serve and brings in Via Neral. Big moment. 23 serving 21. Safe serve. Negrito to Mitch. Sent back. That is out. Set point signal. Double substitution will come back for the Cool Smashers. Negrito wanted to be aggressive in that rally but she has to remember that they have a lot of attackers in yes, the front line yes. and uh, great ito point. Yung mga hot hands right now great point now they're down three set points talking about green line signal revived here in set four Gia opens to Gemma Gemma Galanza refusing to give up one Set point save. They're down by two points. You have one of your best servers on the service deck right now. Let's see if Gia de Guzman can uh, force Signal Ooh. to make a mistake on the team. Interesting. 18 points, by the way, Gemma. Gia gets the signal from Coach Carlo at the bench. Who will she target? Cess is the target. Giselle C with a punch, not good enough. Punch. Big mistake by Signal there. But guess what? It came from the heavy serve of Gio de Guzman again. Good choice for the Guzman to go to Fox Carlos. Eyes were already on a Gemma Galanza. That punch. That knuckle by Giselle C might be a huge mistake here for Signal, but they still have set point. Still alive! Cess! De Jesus to Gemma! Molina! Carlos! Back to Tots! Inside the field sport, we can't even hear uh, ourselves. <laughs> As the great Chef Sarnetta would say, listen to this crowd roar. <laughs> Signal needs a one stop. They're getting uh, the good pass from their Libero Nunag, but defense ganging up on Cesc Molina right now. Whoa! Big expansion service error. Set point again. No. Crucial error there for the Cool Smashers. Now it's Jelka Yuna, another heavy server yeah. on deck to serve. Confusion on the side of Signal here. Who's coming in? Who's coming out? Lunak stays with General, who is, of course, a libera herself, too. So that's for defense. De Jesus will send it to Tots. Dug up by Gia. Chance for Signal to go for it. Double contact on Gemma, and Signal sends us to a fifth set. Let's look at this again, Neil, and take me through it. It's
it was an obvious choice for Jel Cayuna. Last point, go to your best player, combination play from the middle. Seth Molina just powering through the defense of the Gold Smashers. And we are going to our ninth, fifth center of the PVL Invitational 2023. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Well, we all needed that breather, Neil. Every <laughs> single person in this arena, and I'm sure at home, who are probably setting up for dinner, needed that two-minute breather in between because, again, another fourth set epic just like we had on Thursday. That was the longest set we've had <laughs> this entire game. We needed 41 minutes yes. to take care of things in set number four. Signal HD towards that tail end. Uh, kumapit lang talaga kay sila kay Ses Molina. She was getting checked time and time again. But she, she was really a thinking player, trying her best to power through the blocking of the Bull Smashers. It was a crucial error also on the side of Cream Line, uh, dun sa service area. Eight points. Uh, eight unforced errors for one side and wow. uh, all other categories were almost at the same level. Right. And we expected this, Neil. We expected a battle. We expect, expected a battle Thursday. We expected a battle today between one undefeated team who is on a roll and another team who a lot of people, including you, are saying are peaking at the right time and talk, uh, talking about signal. And we expected a war of attrition and the fans are getting another treat. And for those who are inside the Phil Sports Arena, it is worth the price of its ticket, which were hard to get, by the way. You can just feel the tension in the air. It's gonna feel like forever itong uh, race to 15. Kala ko yung init lang yun eh. Tension pala yun. That too. <laughs> Uh, hang on for this epic finish between these two teams in the semi-final matchup. And I love the fact when you look at the scores, the individual scores, Neil, for both teams. Both teams have a lot of contributors, multiple contributors. And we'll get to them in a bit. But first, set five is on its way. Gemma on the other side. Gets the first point on the opposite right pin. You can put her on the left, you can put her on the right. She will always be comfortable. Second straight. Okay, tell me, is there, by this time, second straight fifth set for Creamline? Intense situation, semi final. Hindi lang yung basta basta fifth set. Matas yung stakes, Neil. Oh, 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 what are your thoughts on that? Well, for both teams, second win na itong gumagalaw sa kanila. Okay. Um, uh, five sets in the past game uh, right. for the Bull Smashers. And right now, there's another five-setter for them. It will really boil down to choosing kung kanino ka pupunta pagdating sa point of attack. Highest efficiency ang uh, name of the game uh, towards this last set. Bueno, set five. Molina. 
24 points across her name. Valdez with 19, her most productive game on the BVL Invitational. Let's go with Franny Reyes right now. Franny, we'll get back to you in a bit. We'll deal with the technical issue first. Right now, it's 2-1. Make that 3-1. Okay, now let's check right back in with Franny. Franny, you there? Yes, Boom, I'm right here. And I want you guys to correct me if I'm wrong, but the HD Spikers told me that the last time they beat the Creamline Cool Smashers what was at the 2022 Invitational Conference in Santa Rosa, Laguna. And they want to do a repeat of that, but with players like Eliza Valdez knocking at their door, I'm not so sure Eliza lives for these clutch moments. She told me that she enjoys these moments because not everyone has the opportunity. It's the time for their maturity and their experience to really come out because that is the beauty of the sport. So whether Signal makes a repeat of that or Creamlines keeps their record flawless. Let's find out. But first, let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to Boom and Neil. Thank you, Franny. It's 4-2, courtesy of Tots. Carlos, uh, let, let, well, let me address what the Franny was asking. The two wins that Signal had over Creamline were both in 2022. Signal won in four sets in the prelims of the Invitational. That's the one I think you're referring to, Franny. But they also repeated in the 2022 reinforced conference. They won in four sets in the semifinals. So the head-to-head -head right now is 4-2, to two, which is also our score. No, make that 5-2, courtesy of Dreamline here in the fifth set. Tess Molina got confused in uh, that previous rally. Rachel Andakis was in uh, the middle, and she got in the way of that five attack. Now it's a three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, go, go, go. Ring, bola, ah. Tapos, andun din si Gia, ano, sa kapila, ha? O, sige, job. Kapit, kapit, lang, kapit. Kumit lang natin, okay na yun, tapos na yun. Kailangan lang matyagaan natin yan, 3 points sa akin. Ha, 1 point na tayo. Sige, sige, sige. Sige, yung block natin. Lalaban. Time out here by Coach Shaq. Obviously, this is a race to 15 only, so a three point lead early is huge. Pati by and dip dip, but the thing's a fifth, as they say, it's a mental battle. But in the case of because of the situation, also in the, the heat of the field sports arena, it's also a physical battle, definitely, for these two teams. Kayuna. Opens up to Rad. Rad gets the yeah. scratches the line. Corner pocket good for Rachel Andakis. Who, by the way, has 14 points for herself. 10 points for Gonzaga. 12 for Meneses to backstop Ses Molina's 24. Four players in double figures for Signal HD. Over! Great good reaction ball. by Jell, yes. Valdez, that's still alive! But Valdez says, excuse me! <laughs> Again, she lives for these type of games. Semi spa, no? High stakes, 20 points. She's definitely back. Riri. Not good enough as Valdez pops it up. Same with thoughts. Rad. Not too much power there. Galanza goes down the line. Good reaction by Gonzaga. Long rally alert here. Galanza again. Oh, oh somebody scratched the net, unfortunately, for its signal, and it is Joe Cayuna. Unforced errors piling up. On the side of the HD Spikers here at in the, the fifth set. Time, yeah. At the wrong time, yeah. Second timeout by Coach Shaq already. Yun, suppress Natale Nigel. 
Okay. Kapitan lang natin. Okay. Test natin. Kailangan ito na yung chance para matest natin sarili natin. Kapit lang tayo. Kaya yung sila lang ginagawa. Nagkakakak tayo ng bola. Kailangan makonvert lang natin ng patay. Ang atake natin. Okay. Self-deficit. For Signal HD. And the team from Japan, the Kurashiki. Ablaze. Very excited. That's what I'm telling you. Very contrast. They're happy. They're here. Well, Vietnam earlier, Kim Bak Bak Ni. Very serious in their business. Japan. They look like a very young team. Look like it. We'll get the stories from uh, our panel later on. In the meantime, 7-3. Eliza with her most productive con uh, game of the conference. Good timeout by Coach Shaq. But no more timeout from here on in. The players have to deal with things on the floor right now on their own. Jim Chin Basa is able to find a crack in that wall. Gia goes to Gemma in the middle. The swipe doesn't work. Bump set to the other side. Seth goes cross. What a dive by De Jesus. Seth on the second ball. Swipe doesn't work. Oh! <laughs> Riri could not get to it. That Gemma Galanza says no swiping here. Yun yung mga tense moment. Nagbubulun yung bola dun sa tape of net. You don't know kung saan side siya babagsak. Are you gonna pick it up? Is your teammate gonna pick it up? Changeover. 8-4. And I hope the crowd stays also for yeah. our, Jap our Japan and uh, Jap Japanese and Vietnam teams. If you're a volleyball follower, volleyball fan, you would love to see them in action live. Because if you're, let's say, rooting for Signal or Creamline, then you want to know what you're going to be up against in the days to come. And we also want to show uh, the Japanese of and the course. Vietnamese team yeah. the hospitality and warm welcome right. from the Filipino fans. Back to the action. Oh! Molina! Oh. With a fast swing there in between the blockers of the boot smashers. You know what, Neil? The, the girls we were talking about at pregame, Molina, Valdez, Galanza, Cayuna, they have all delivered the day. Sabi ni Ses Molina, ako na to. <laughs> Chel Cayuna coming into this game with two straight player of the match awards. Good dig, overhead dig by C. Rainbow, easy over. Balik kay Gemma. Nandun na naman si Giselle. General will go back to Chin. Oh, way over the hands. Judgment call there on the side of Signal HD. Ses Molina was free here in the left You're pair, right. but they decided to go to Chin Basas again. Pagdating sa fifth set, you always have to go to your hot hand. As many times as you can, doesn't Mamor matter Shanto. if she gets checked. Yeah, right. Mamor Shento ka na. She brought you here anyway. She back to Molina. Delayed by the block. Thoughts. I don't know the Kamali don't kneel. Is it the approach or was it the set? It was too soft of a hip for Thoughts Carlos. And once that ball hit, parang hindi masyadong nag-bounce eh. Ah, just too soft. Kayuna's back in. What a defensive... Uh, ...team right now with General and Lunag. The sweepers for Coach Shaq. Take by Nunag. Oh, you can give half that yeah. point to Jelai. That's the reason why her and General are there. 
Again, you will live and die with Seth Molina there. Pigay mo na nang ipigay, ano? Cold Smashers call a timeout as their lead is down to two. today and all of them happy and all of them hopefully stay on for Kin Bakbakni versus Kurashki Ablaze. Great pickup by Joves. Great swing by Seth. <laughs> Seth Molina continuing to swing away for the AT Spikers. Now Risa Sato will try to make a difference. Which she did, by the way, in the F2 match. Signal just one point behind the cool smashers. Mm -hmm. Jel Cayuna yeah. serving. Grab the new capital signal, Neil. Down four in this set. Pressure definitely on them, and they respond here with a rally. Thoughts rejected! And we're Challenge a net touch Ooh. violation. Uh, the net actually moved, and uh, mm. looking uh, at the players of Signal, parang it was parang uh, Doria. <laughs> it was Doria who touched that net. Ooh. Yeah, for this challenge, it's successful. Sobrang sayang because that was a momentum changing yeah, block definitely, sana definitely. for the HD Spikers. So right now it will stand at 9-8. The block was clean, but Sumaya Talaga. To the delight of the three white fans. It, it was a subtle net touch. Di name mapapan sine, but the movement of the net was uh, a bit wild. 10-8. <laughs> Gemma does the honor of getting this rally started. Jell jump set to Sess. Bumalik sa signal. Bumalik kay Sess. Thoughts on the other side. Delivers again. Two straight points after a 3-0 run by Signal. Six points for Todd Carlos. Yes, matching the 27 of Cesc Molina. How good have they been? And how good was that serve by Gemma Galaza? The best server of the league. 12 serving, 8. Huge four-point lead uh, for the Cool Smashers. General with a solid pass. Combination. Molina with 28 points. Spectacular yeah. games from Galanza, Molina, Carlos, and Valdez. Molina just trying uh, to get as many points as she can pag nasa harapan siya. But the question is, who will uh, step up this time sa rotation ng Signal HD? You have uh, Jovelin Gonzaga there, you have Rachel Andakis as well. And uh, Rosalind Doria is also a viable option for Jel Cayuna. Oh, good serve. Chance ball ang ibibigay sa Signal down three. Jel chooses Rad. Rad unable to finish it off. Valdez does. Points in the first assignment 
scored points in the second. And after that, she has come up with consecutive double figures. Now with 21 for the Colts Smashers, just two points away from maintaining their undefeated record here in the Invitationals. Sorry, Neil. I did not hear anything you said. <laughs> I couldn't even hear myself. <laughs> God, what, what a crowd. It's music to our ears, really. But I know what you're saying. Eliza Valdez, 11, 12, 17, and today, 21, after the single-digit three- and four-point output in her first two games. 10 serving 13. This is not over yet. Green line not yet out of the woods. Tops gets it back. Match point for the undefeated Cool Smashers. 27 big points for that girl. Cesc Molina in uh, the back row right now. She's asking for one stop from her teammates. Chuck serve coming. Free ball for cream line. Four match points. Valdez sent back. Balik na naman kay Baldo. And she gets it! Eliza Valdez! 22 points! And the killer blow! It's been a while since we last heard that phrase, Eliza Valdez for the win here in the fifth set. For the second straight game, Valdez proves to be clutch. And a great hug between the two captains, Rad and Valdez, who both played their heart out. Cesc Molina was incredible. Chel Cayuda was spectacular. But Cream Line proved steadier in the clutch. Again, for the second straight fifth setter. Relive this game. Oh boy, you should. And all BBL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. Music to our ears, this crowd. The confirmation of the Cream Line win. 23-25, 25-16, 25-21, 24 15-10 for the second straight day for them, playing day, fifth set thriller. Let's go to Franny Reyes with our player of the game. Thanks, Boom and Neil. I'm with our player of the game. Congratulations to you and Creamline. Earlier, you were telling me how it's a battle of the veteran teams. Which team is more intact? Can you talk about how you guys were able to stay composed in only your second, fifth setter of the conference? Uh, we're just very grateful we got the win, but the difference talaga, kung sino talaga makaka-control ng small balls in today's game, makaka very composed. Siguro yun yung mag, and who wants it more? Yun talaga yung mananalo. And we're very grateful everyone really stepped up today. Everyone definitely stepped up. Now, you know, you guys are still undefeated in this conference. Your next matchup is against our guest team from Vietnam. How will you prepare for that? Well, we have to watch their game after this. And uh, we're just gonna stick to the strategy and to, we have to listen to our coaches all the time. Kasi mas nakikita nila and malam nila kung ano yung mga adjustment na kailangan namin. Definitely, we're looking forward to that matchup now. Eliza, anything, anyone you want to greet, say thank you to? Thank you so much to Alafinity again, to my family in Batangas, sa lahat po na sumuporta sa Creamline Cool Smashers. Maraming maraming salamat po. To Mr. and Mrs. Nang, happy 60th anniversary po. And to Sir Jonathan and Mr.
Miss Kathy, hello. Thank you so much, Eliza. Eliza Valdez, there's no doubt that she's back. Let's send it back to Boom and Neil. Clutch queen, Franny. Uh, congratulations. 22 points on 18 attacks, two blocks, two aces, 14 digs, and five receives for the clutch queen herself. Cream line at 3 and 0 here in the semifinals. They're looking good. They're one game away from reaching that magic four. And for the Signal HD Spikers, they will go down a one and a two to tie with F2 Logistics and the PLDT High Speed Hitters. And in a few moments, finally, we'll get to see the Kin Bak Bak Nin team and the Kurashiki Ablaze team play it out. For the second straight time, the Cream Line Cool Smashers were pushed. And for the second straight time, they respond and they win in five sets against the Signal HD Spikers. Up next, Kin Bak Bak Nin and Kurashki Ablaze in their debut in the PBL Invitational 2023. For Franny Reyes, Neil Flores, I'm Boom Gonzalez. Stay tuned to your Heart of Volleyball here on Filipinas Live. Mục tiêu của đội chúng tôi trong giải đấu này là thể hiện hết sức mình và thi đấu ở cấp độ cao nhất. Sức mạnh lớn nhất của đội tôi là sự đoàn kết và ăn ý. Chúng tôi đã tập luyện với nhau trong một thời gian dài và chúng tôi hiểu ý nhau. Tôi có lưu sử dụng kỳ 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 Eh, 